What's up guys, Factory36 here with another YouTube video for you guys. Um, I'm going to try something new. I haven't ever done it before, but um, there's always a first time for everything. So, um, first off, let me start off this video by saying, hey guys, I hope you're doing well. You've had a great Christmas and everything, holiday for the New Year's, um, but I want to... Um, give honor to one of my new staff. Um, his name is Gary. He is my video editor. Um, he now edits my videos. Um, so the quality in the last video was great. And I want to give kudos to him. And um, he surprised me with a new mic. So um, if you guys like my new mic and the quality of it, give me a big thumbs up to start off this video. And I hope you guys enjoyed. This is going to actually be a um, class setup for the new Modern Warfare remake on the Infinite Warfare um, new Inf Call of Duty Infinite Warfare game. So this is going to be like if you're a beginner it's going to be a beginner assault rifle setup. So I'm going to do it on the M16 right here. It's the, it's the very first assault rifle. Um, it's going to be a basic setup because you're a beginner. And I have reset my stats so that you can um, see what would you what you would have when you have started over. Um, so basically, you pick the M16, of course. Your sidearm. I personally like to use the M9. A lot of people don't because the accuracy in the um, range isn't as well. But I think it um, a close range is very very effective. Um, and then for the tactical, I like to use a flash grenade, not just because the stun grenade and smoke grenade suck. I just like to use a flash grenade because if you are at close range, because it's a class for close range mostly, I would definitely use a flash grenade because if you come around the corner and somebody's standing there, you want to be able to paralyze them for the five seconds that you need to shoot and kill them. Or maybe melee them if you're like after trolls or whatever. I don't I don't know what you what your life's about. But um and then the first perk that I would use is um RPGs. Okay, I would definitely pick these um, rocket launchers because in the, the whole month and a half that I've played this game, I have noticed that um, a lot of people use airstrikes as their um, score streaks so um this is a good way to get rid of those to get rid of uavs and helicopters and s such like that um it comes with two so if you miss one you know you'll you'll get the uh you, you could try to hit them with the other one if you don't hit that you just suck no i'm just kidding there's there's a lot of times that i don't even i don't even hit them with the second one or third fourth every time i die you know but um and then perk two, I would um, I usually use stalking power because um, you you want your bullets to do more damage than what they do because people say well this gun got buff or whatever no if you use these perks it'll help out a lot um, if you don't want to use stopping power I would definitely use juggernaut because you want more health um, perk three I would use deep impact to go with. Um, that stopping power because deeper bullet penetration and um, more damage equals kills easier so you want that and since you're a low level player at this point you're not going to be able to have a melee so that's going to be it for that class um, if you like this video this um, class setup idea um, give me a big thumbs up and if you like this new mic that Gary has bought me, and I'm not going to disclose his last name, that's like against my privacy settings and stuff, um, just give him a thumbs up and uh, give me some comments below. I like to hear from you guys, believe it or not. Good and bad comments. You can tell me I suck. I honestly don't care. I really like the feedback, though. Um, but if you like this class setup idea, just tell me, and I will do more. Um, and I'm sick, by the way. Sorry, I haven't been recording lately. I've been really sick, but I'll start doing them more, um, more often. Uh, I'll see you guys later. Pack B36 out.